someone did mention, yeah, I, I guess uh, the very last thing, someone did mention, you know, so Richard's, Richard's marketing, right? It, it's definitely not for everyone. I totally understand, but uh, the people that are already in, you know, it's, it's like Richard said, like they're, they're already in. So, so his outrage marketing is, is not to the people that are already in, it's to, uh, you know, acquire more customers and, and more users. So it's, it's to get other people's attention by, by being so ridiculous or, or like he says, dressing up like a clown and things. Um, and, and it's working. So we've got Bloomberg, you know, and, and it's just like someone disagreed with me on this, which, which whatever, it's not like you have to agree, but um, it totally is doing, doing the Trump thing or uh, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather or Conor McGregor, right? Where it's just so out there and it's so, uh, it's so one way or the other that you either love them or you hate them. You know, you can't have like really a neutral position. But this was on uh, Bloomberg.com. It says, uh, so this was yesterday by Olga Karif. It says, memories of Bitcoin beating returns kept or keep hex holders hanging on. And we're going to zoom in here and this will kind of be uh, one of the last things that we read. And, and I'll kind of just commentate on uh, some of it as well. So uh, hex token has, let's see, has tumbled more than 90% from September all-time high. The hex blockchain CD uh, in parentheses, touts annual average returns of 38% on average. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. So the more than 100,000 devotees to a little known token called Hex, swapping jokes and encouraging each other to stay bullish over the Telegram messaging app shows the desire to get rich quick remains as strong as ever in the midst of the latest crypto winter. This is a long post, so we'll, we'll read this quickly. Even though the coin is among the thousands that trade at just a few cents, it has developed an outsized profile. Hex's creator, who goes by Richard Hart, has positioned himself at the center of the hype, projecting an over-the-top performance on social media with his designer track shoots or <laughs> track suits, expensive jewelry, and luxury vehicles. Uh, while Hart projects endless optimism and aggressive marketing, which includes old-fashioned direct mail promotions. The, uh, let's see, the value of the token has tumbled more than 90% from its all-time high in September. Yeah, it's, it's not even been a year. I mean, every, every market, whether it was Amazon in 2001, you know, went down 95%, things like this. Uh, what's up, Motley? How's it going, bro? I got the, got the biceps in chat for Motley. So what's up, dude? Uh, and then Crypto Profeta says, keep up the good work, John 316. I think that's like, I can believe all things. Through Christ who strengthens me, something like that. I'll have to look that up later. Appreciate you, man. Uh, let's let's finish this as well. So there was also another one by uh, by the Times.co.uk. Uh, so maybe we can look at that another time. It says, uh, but what really stands out is how Hex dangles uh, a roadmap to create wealth for so-called hexagons. Hex is an app on the Ethereum network that offers a staple of traditional investing packaged. Uh, in a crypto wrapper in what it calls a blockchain certificate of deposit. Users lock up or stake the hex coins they purchased from the app, smart contract, um, for up to 15 years to earn interest, it's actually yield, uh, paid off with more hex tokens. Hex's website says the typical investor locks up their funds for 6.6 .6 years on average, 38% uh, annual return. All right, and uh, and once again, we'll we'll keep we'll keep reading this real quick, and and this will be the last thing that we read. Um, Bitfinesse and and the other people in chat. Hey, Jim Rat, I uh, let me just say what's up to Jim Rat. Yo, dude, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, been been keeping strong even in Chicago. Limited the uh, the portions on uh, on the diet and some of these other things that were uh, were holding me back. So appreciate Jim Rat. Uh, yeah, Jim Rat is a is a pillar in the community, man. The guy's doing daily streams and uh, and kicking ass every day. So. I really appreciate him for uh, for not only like kind of kicking myself in the ass to to do something I'd wanted to do for you know a long time, but uh, my brothers too. So it's been it's been really fun to uh, participate uh, in the the gym rat, you know, the the crypto fitness challenge. Anyways, let's finish the article. It says uh, that raised eyebrows amongst uh, industry observers, especially in the light of the recent collapse of Terra USD stablecoin and related Luna token and the freeze of withdrawals by lending platform Celsius Network, uh, which were also dependent on promises of high yielding returns to attract steady streams of new investors. Meanwhile, Hart says he's developing a network called Pulse Chain, uh, which will eventually issue tokens that will be distributed to hex holders and other Ethereum users. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, this is the first 
kind of major article or things like that, that once again, it, it's free exposure, it's free marketing. And, you know, as, as this last sentence has said, let me just, let me just highlight this real quick here. So, because I think it's, it's so underrated and whoops, whoops, let's just, uh, one second here. I don't know why it's not actually uh, showing on the screen here. One second. Let me unshare the screen and, and reshare it real quick here. I don't know why it wasn't why it wasn't showing. One minute here. Okay, great. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell was going on there. So it says he's developing a network called Pulse Chain, which will eventually issue tokens that will be distributed to hex holders and other Ethereum users. And it's not even like other Ethereum users. It's it's a whole system state copy. And so nothing like that has ever been done before. And I mean, this is the first article that I've seen that's uh, that's kind of mentioning that. So how many more are we going to see when Pulse Chain actually launches and people realize, oh, their their favorite little NFTs or their ERC twenty tokens, if they had possession of them, you know, not your keys, not your crypto, are, are actually going to get a copy? Like this is this is one of the first articles that I've seen uh, that's actually looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to scroll down and then uh, we'll end the stream in just a few minutes. So it says hex increases in value. The more people put money in and decreases, the more people pull money out. Isn't that kind of like every market, dude? Come on. Said John Griffin, a finance professor at University of Texas at Austin. The last people in will likely be left with nothing. Yeah, that's great. They said the same thing about Bitcoin for like 11 or 12 years. We'll keep going though. Uh, Hart, who told Bloomberg News in an interview that his real name is Richard Schuler. There's, there's no... Nothing hidden about that. You can go to uh, Wikitia. It's kind of like Wikipedia, but uh, Wikitia, and uh, that's got that's got Richard Hart's you know full doxed profile and and the, the schools that he'd went to and things. But uh, so Richard Schuler remains un, uh, undeterred. Hexes direct mailings and ads on the sides of buses in the place uh, in places such as London noted that the price went up eleven thousand five hundred percent in one hundred and twenty nine days. As of late, the coins, uh, let's see, the coins fortunes have mirrored the recent crypto boom and bust with its price falling from an all time high of about 50 cents in September to around three cents. And, and like the beautiful thing about this is Bloomberg doesn't have like, you know, sure they do, but, but there's, there's also a lot of uh, smart investors and, and just kind of like with Bitcoin, you know, the, the first time that a lot of people heard Bitcoin, they didn't care about it. They thought it was a scam or magical internet money. And, and then it wasn't until maybe the second or third time. It's like sales, right? You don't usually land a, a sales, you know, uh, a closing of a sale, uh, you know, the first time. It's usually how many touches they call it, you know, so five or six times. So, uh, you know, when it was at Big K, when he was throwing the first pitch, everyone had, had the shirt that said Big K is throwing the first pitch. Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, you know, you've just got so much uh, attention and, and branding awareness that slowly but surely is becoming, you know, uh, mainstream. So we're still uh, still super pre-viral and I'm excited for for the next, you know, the, the next market cycle whenever whenever that is. Who knows? You know, don't have a crystal ball, but but it's going to be awesome to see the uh, the returns, you know, post 10,000 X and and see the first 100,000 X. I mean, Hex is designed to do you know, more returns than what Bitcoin's done. And, and it's almost like, it's almost so crazy that it almost seems unbelievable because once again, Bitcoin being the first did 6.9 million X, not even percent, but 6.9 million uh, times, you know, uh, 6.9 million fold from a penny to $69,000. And to really think where, you know, Hex has staking all the way up to 5,555 days kind of just paints into perspective where we're at. But does that mean that the gains are going to happen uh, overnight? No. And and I think some of those expectations should be had. Or if you're onboarding people, uh, you know, now is definitely, in my opinion, definitely one of the best times to be onboarding. Uh, I know Motley and some of these other guys have kind of talked about it, that, you know, the last thing that you want to do is see everyone in a market euphoric and then, be onboarding people towards the top, um, especially if you if you don't really know what's going on and you haven't experienced a cycle before, because what goes up does come down, but uh, come back down. But the thing about with crypto, with Bitcoin, Ethereum, what it's done is when it goes back down, it usually goes, uh, you know, it it kind of levels out higher than where the previous low was. Let me say what's up to Bitfinesh real quick, uh, and then we'll finish this article real quick. Uh, Bitfinesh says, I mean. Who thinks prices won't be higher in 10 years, question mark? I hate to show my prejudices, 
But traditional market folks uh, aren't becoming more rational. That is true. Uh, it's time to break out the tinfoil. <laughs> I got some in the kitchen, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then uh, RH Max, yeah, what's up, dude? And he uh, he's also been doing a whole bunch of great work too. And uh, the beautiful thing too about about the community, like once again, um, if if there's something for me to talk about, which which there is this time with with Celsius, and and once again, kind of just a reminder that hey, bear markets are are where the opportunity is at its peak. You know, if you look at that psychology of a market cycle. Uh, so, so there's the market cycle that's got all the emotions on one side, and then we can look at it in, in, in you know, after the article, but on the top, right, it's got like a, kind of like a little rainbow thing with a, a bell curve type of deal. And at the, at the very bottom of that bell curve, before it goes back up, you know, it's like a giant U, um, that's where the, the maximum opportunity is. And who knows where that is? Is that at this price? Is it that at a two cents or one cent or whatever price it ends up going to at the very bottom. Uh, but we know that, you know, just even from the sentiment, right, of the community, that uh, that it, it seems like we're, we're getting close. You know, that's all I'll say there. Uh, okay, so let's get back to uh, one second here. Let's get back to the rest of this and then we'll let everyone get going uh, on the Father's Day. So how many things have lost everything? Luna went to zero, Hart said. Rug pulls everywhere. Bridge failures. You're just like... We are the only ones doing it right. And then it says, uh, once again, here's the outrage. Let me let me zoom out a smidge for this. Uh, it says Richard Hart. And I love that he's got the the verification now. So uh, and on, on Instagram, too. So if you're being DM'd by a Richard Hart that's asking you, you know, how is your crypto doing and some of these other things, uh, you know, 99% of the time. 0.9, it's, it's not Richard. But anyways, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, uh, $3,320 tracksuit. Once again, the outrage. Let's uh, let's finish the rest of this article and then we'll let everyone get back on to uh, the Father's Day. And uh, thanks everyone for for being here as well. It's, uh, it's good to see everyone. Hart declined to disclose the size of his personal hex stake, but likes to say that no one minds that Bitcoin's supposed anonymous creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, holds holds a swath of a huge swath of bitcoins about 300,000 accounts hold hex but it's unclear how many people they belong to according to the blockchain tracker uh, tracker elliptic and let's uh, scroll down a little bit more and then i guess if i w i will go over the comments uh, at the very last before before i leave so if anyone has anything to say um i'll uh, i'll glance over it in addition to locking up their tokens, Hex owners can also contribute a portion of their holdings to one of two digital wallets in exchange for points they can eventually, this is interesting, uh, for points they can eventually get them more Pulse tokens, the Pulse chain currency. So first off, that's, you know, the sacrifice is over. Um, it's definitely over. <laughs> Don't don't be sacrificing to those things. Richard said it's it's over for a while. Uh, the idea is to move hex onto the blockchain to make staking and unstaking hex cheaper. Hart said, "Pulse tokens will be issued once Pulse Chain goes live." And then it says, uh, "Between forty and fifty percent." Sorry if this is so long. Uh, between forty and fifty percent of the hex in circulation over the past year has been sacrificed uh, in parentheses to the wallets. Hart said. Uh, one is designated to fund anti-aging researcher Sens Research Foundation, who controls the other, uh, and larger wallet isn't disclosed. Hart declined to comment on whether he is the owner or who controls the anonymous wallet. Once again, this is a this is a beautiful thing. You know, some people might think I've heard some people say um, in the past, like like hex hex was so hex was done so carefully and uh, done with security in mind right like like actual security like securities exchange that uh that richard wanted to make sure hey you know what are the what are the four legs i think it's four legs you know of of the howey test and then he shows how how hex is not a security uh, he shows how there's not you know if if say uh if satoshi was was known or say if richard had admitted or or had claimed you know that he was the the oa or some of these other things well then all of a sudden people might be having you know expectations from you know the work of others and so i love how richard says hey you know you want hex to to get on coinbase or, or you want xyz thing to happen well well you do it because i don't work for you uh, I love that, and uh, he's he stayed consistent with that message uh, since day one. And it's it's to avoid being a security. I mean, you look at some of these things like Celsius, 
um, some of these other things that are just clear securities. And uh, and Richard had uh, you know the premonition and kind of forethought, you know, foresight to uh, to realize that he didn't want to have any uh, you know legal issues with uh, with his crypto. The last sentence says uh, the devotion of the hexagons is extraordinary, even for the crypto world. This is amazing. Hart's face is splashed across many Twitter profiles of his followers. The testimonial section of Hex's website is stacked with claims that many Hexicans got houses, cars, watches, paid off mortgages, and student loans with their wealth. And that's the beautiful thing. I mean, hey, you know, the the people that were able to, yeah, pay off, pay off debt or or get some of these things, it's uh it's physical proof, right? And and Richard talks about how you know, he, you know, it's, it's been, it's been claimed that he's, you know, been such a wealthy holder, early Bitcoiner and things like that. But, but sometimes people, you know, sometimes talk, a lot of times talk is cheap, right? And a lot of times people are fronting. So to actually have uh, the results on the, the hex testimonials and things like this uh, makes a big difference. Mm -hmm.